Article 47. On petition of Steve Jasumi and at least 25 registered voters shall the town of Hampton, in the interest of making the best use of town employees and volunteers' time, require that detailed agendas for all public meetings be posted at least four days prior to the date of the meeting. The agendas should include a list of the town departments, boards, and commissions that are being asked to participate in the meeting with a brief statement of the topics to be discussed. The items on each agenda should be listed in the order in which they will be discussed with the understanding that occasional and unavoidable last minute changes may need to be made. Each agenda shall be posted at Town Hall, at the Lane Memorial Library, and on the appropriate page on the Hampton Town website. Majority vote required. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 47? I see I the petitioners present. Mr. Jasumi. Uh, present. Yes. Uh, is, uh, is there a second? Get a second to get discussion going. Uh, Mr. Diener is second. Would you like to speak to your um, article, sir? Uh, just uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Moderator. Just for the record, my name is Steve Jusson. I live at 11, 111 North Shore Road. I'll be very brief. Uh, this uh, article simply requires that all boards and commissions publish a more or less detailed agenda in advance of any such meeting, as required by law anyway. And, I only, and I'll only note that I've had occasion in the past to stop by Town Hall and see meetings posted on the walls with very little information as to what is going to be talked about and in what order. And um, as such, I think this is more or less just a housekeeping item. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Domack? Candy Stelmack, 488 High Street. I'm uh, supportive of this article. Um, I do not like the four-day thing. I don't know if there's a reason for that. And I wondered why newspapers weren't on here. Was that just an omission? Steve didn't think to put it on, but I would think that would have to be in there reach all of the public because not everybody has a computer and gets to the town hall in the library. Right. Um, I, I'm going to turn to uh, council in a moment to um, educate us on what are the requirements. Um, so maybe that will touch on that. I know there's certainly an expense that comes with uh, publishing in the newspaper as opposed to um, the, uh, the, the postings that the petitioner um, mentioned. Okay. Am I out of here? What's that? Am I out of here? No, no, no. Okay, no, I, I just, I, I'm going to ask, you know, what do we have to do in the first instance? Do we have to publish in the newspaper? Do we have to publish at all? I don't know the answer to that, but I, I'm going to go to him, and you can yield and wait for me to get that I answer. Do. I yield. Okay. Mr. Gerald? Okay. <laughs> uh, this article uh, purports to regulate in a fashion that is actually governed by the New Hampshire Right to Know Law, RSA 91A2, which regulates public meetings. Um, as such, I believe it's merely advisory and would not be enforceable. Uh, this addresses agendas, uh, whereas RSA 91A2 speaks only to posting notices of times and places of meetings. Uh, it requires an agenda to be posted at least four days prior to the date of the meeting, whereas RSA 91A2, Roman 2, only requires at least 24 hours for the notice of a meeting. It requires an agenda to be posted in three specific places, including the town's website, whereas only two appropriate places are required for the notice of a meeting. Uh, one of which may be the town's website under RSA 91A2, Roman 2. And RSA 91A2, Roman 2, allows as an alternative to those two places the printing of a meeting notice in a newspaper of general circulation, uh, whereas this article does, as has just been noted, does not include that alternative. Um, as I say, I think this article is advisory only. So my translation of that is I understand, and I certainly welcome the petitioner's thought, that you have to post the date, time, and location of a meeting, but you don't have to post an agenda. And I'm sure all of us who see 
a date, time, and location of a meeting, wonder what's going to go on. So to the petitioner's point, I think he's trying to urge the selectmen to um, provide some more information. I'm gathering from Attorney Gerald that you can't impose that requirement upon the town officials, but you certainly can come forward and suggest, and if there's a big voter turnout in support of it, I think perhaps you might see a change in how much information and where it's posted. But as I understand it, to comply with the law, the town and the schools and other entities simply need to post that they're gonna have a meeting, when it's gonna be held, and that's, and they have to do it within, what, 24 hours of, of the meeting or something like that, and there are some places that it has to be posted. The petitioner is urging for more information, I think, to keep people better informed and not have people show up at meetings in which things are discussed that they have no interest in or miss meetings that they would have gone to had they known what was going to be discussed. My concern is not with the agenda. I completely agree with that. It's the informing the public that there is even going to be a, a special meeting or a, whichever kind they're calling for. Um, you're missing a huge portion of the, of the public when you don't put it in the newspaper. You're counting on them being uh, mobile, going to the town hall, or having a computer. So I'm wondering if the newspaper part of it has to be in there to reach everybody? Well, first of all, as I understand Mr. Gerald's comment, this is advisory, not enforceable. So if it passes, even if it had a newspaper component in it, the town wouldn't have to follow it. But would it be a courtesy to the public to do that? Well, I think that's the dialogue here, okay. is what does the public want from its elected officials relative to information on the conduct of the uh, official business. Where would they like it? When would they like it? How much would they like? Um, as opposed to the bare bones of what you have to do in order to comply with the law to have an official legal meeting, which I, is a lot less than I think is being suggested. Okay. I'll yield my time to Rusty. Mr. Bryan. Yes, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, is even if this is passed, the Board of Selectmen can only do their own agenda. They have no authority over cemetery committee or budget committee or they would have no authority over telling them how and when they can post their meetings. I think by this vote, it would just encourage those committees to do a better job at posting their meetings, if I'm not mistaken. Right. I, I think if it receives uh, an affirmative vote, it's, uh, it's a signal to everybody who serves on those committees that the majority of the town wants that type of posting okay. or would appreciate that type of posting. Okay. That makes it very clear. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Jones. Uh, I, I do not support this uh, Warren article. Uh, I think that the intent of the Warren article makes sense, but it needs to be um, um, sculpted a bit better. Uh, and uh, as far as the newspaper is concerned, putting a four-day requirement on a newspaper that publishes once a week doesn't make a whole lot of sense now, does it? So I think we could uh, work something out for next year, but I don't, I don't support this particular one article is written. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 47? Seeing none, 